You see, because there's so much BS out there, your brain has to decipher all this different kind of stuff. And then it has to turn around and try to figure out, okay, is this real? Is this not real? What is it, what's taking place here? And then you have to turn around and really think about, okay, well, how do I get around this problem? How do I solve this problem? You know, what do I do to be prepared for this problem? Because if you all haven't noticed, every other day they're throwing something else at us. There's something, there's this or that, and, and this is going on, and, you know, the whole nine yards. So we have to constantly be thinking on our feet, and that's what makes you a good prepper, because you have to make sure that you can take the information in, process the information, then turn around and have a solution to the information you see this is where the government lacks all right they can take the information in they process the information and it goes blank whereas in if you're a prepper somebody with a good head on your shoulders all right you take the information in you process it you come up with a solution it may take you a little while to think about it but sometimes if you sit back and you really think about it you think about it really hard you're going to come up with a really good solution in your head and that that goes for any type of situation doesn't have to be like you know the end of the world type situation here if you got a problem going on in your life if you got a problem that you have to deal with at work if you got a problem with whatever you process in the information you think about it and you're going to come up with a solution some way you will come up with a solution our brains are a very intelligent thing and it can do this folks it can handle doing all this sometimes in a matter of seconds you heard something process it boom boom you, you now you got a solution or you got to come back you see what i'm saying i mean that's how fast a lot of our brains think it's quite amazing how i mean it's because it's gonna be massive chaos because the grid is so fragile now it wouldn't take a lot to really do a lot of damage and how long do you think it would take for them to build all this stuff back you see i think there's other things that are playing in the cards here and we're not just being told everything. I don't think it's all man that is destroying this planet. I think there's other things that have happened or that are taking place as we speak. And that is contributing to the problem. Now, like I did say, before I get all the hateful comments and everything else, you know, man probably has or is at some point in time contributing to the climate but i don't think they can blame everything on man they want to take total control they don't want people like you and me they don't want people to be prepped and ready and they know we're out here they know that there are a real select few of people because you got to figure out of what 329 million people that live in this country what do you think maybe 20 i'll be generous 25 percent are saying they're prepped, they're ready, and we're where else. So that leaves you 75% of the population that they can easily control. But it's that 25% that they're worried about. Because you see, if you're a prepper and you've been putting food away and everything else, that means you're a thinker, all right? Now you have to remember, you know, you're going back more than likely, you were probably raised this way. You have been taught by your grandparents, by your parents or whoever it could be uncle john down the road whoever it may be but the point of it is these people they know we're out here and they know that we know they're up to something now we may not have all the answers and depending on what how far i would go as far as believing some of these ideas because some of them out there are, but you know i take those with a grain of salt and what i suggest that a lot of people do is you do the same thing do your homework that's what i do when i if i have time and i listen to a, another youtube channel or something and they're talking about something for some reason it's just kind of like ah, i don't know about that you know i mean that's that's pretty deep or that's pretty out there and you know i'll start doing some checking on it and seeing what i can find out you know but that's how you have to like you have to do everything nowadays. It's like you have to be so careful on exactly not what you're saying, but what you're comprehending in your brain. It doesn't matter where you live. You have to plan and have a action plan put in place 
on how you survive your own little element of life. Because like I said, it's different wherever you are. The plan is still basically the same. There is a basic plan that goes no matter wherever you live. You have to have first water. You can survive a lot longer without food than you can without water. Your body will shut down if you do not have water. Second is food, all right? So all different types of food from your dry goods, canned goods, whatever. That's the two pieces of the pie. Then you have to move into all the other things that you're going to need. And this is where it's gonna come into play on where you live and how you have to plan. I would highly suggest that you do have a, a decent first aid kit and try to build a better first aid kit for down the road. Because you see folks, this is what is gonna happen. If something majorly goes down, the ambulances and stuff aren't going to be able to roll out to thousands of people if they need help. And what happens if one of those people could be your wife, your husband, your kids, your parents, your grandparents? Basic knowledge of first aid will get you a long ways. If you have to leave your home, because let's face it, I mean, more than likely, 98% of people, the shit hits the fan, you're going to be staying put in your home. You see, they're catching on, folks. And now they're realizing that there's a lot more of us than what they originally thought. What we're doing is, is we want to try to make sure that you, the watcher, you out there that are watching right now, that you and your family can survive any type of natural disaster, SHTF, EMP, that you can survive and everything will be fine. And as long as you come out prepared, that's all that matters. You see, that's all that matters, folks, is that you come out prepared and ahead of the game.